Hello and welcome to Rathod's IS. Today in this session, we are going to see current affairs of 26 December 2023. So first of all, we are going to see Delhi edition of the Hindu PDF and we are going to point out important articles which are relevant from our examination and later on we are going to see in how many dimensions or how many perspectives we can think about that topic and even we are going to learn like how to interconnect one subject with another subject that interlinking from one subject to another subject is very important to write an answer in a multi-dimensional manner okay so that thing that we are going to see and we are also going to provide you the notes and if you want to get these notes you can join the telegram channel link is given in description box so first of all let us see this paper so this is a front page of Delhi edition of the Hindu so let us see which are the articles important so in this front page first article which is relevant from our examination point of view is Jai Shankar arrives in Russia on five day visit trade ties on agenda so actually this article is talking about it is talking about India Russia relations so what it is talking about India Russia relations so where can we connect this topic with our syllabus so in GS paper 2 we have international relations okay, in this international relations we will be having bilateral relations so in this bilateral relations this topic is important that is India Russia relations so if you go back to the India Russia relations so you have to know about NAM non-alignment movement so during Cold War that is around the 1960s so we have this Cold War era so in this Cold War era two power blocks formed so one is led by USA and another is led by USSR so at that time they asked like whether you will be joining USA or USSR so what India said is so India said we have we are newly independent country and we have lot of challenges before us like we have to address hunger malnutrition food insecurity poverty etc so because of this we don't want to align with any country and we said that we are following this non-alignment movement so we don't want to align with any other power black okay so that time especially third nation countries third nation countries are nothing but developing countries they followed this NAM but even though India said that we are following NAM somewhat we have a tilt towards Russia and Russia is all weather friend for India okay so this is a brief background so here even though we are having the good relations between India and Russia but here in the issue in this relations we have some issues or we have some challenges so here this article is talking that so our excel affairs minister he is going to visit Russia and in this meet they are going to talk about especially what are the challenges or issues between India and Russia and we are going to resolve those issues so here this article says that one such issue here is rupee rubble payment mechanism okay, rupee rubble payment mechanism so what is this so again one more story you have to connect here is Russia Ukraine crisis okay so Russia attacking Ukraine that thing that you know Yes or no? It is not a new issue. So actually, Russian currency is called as ruble. So actually, what we are getting from Russia? For example, we are getting technological support, we are getting weapons, and even we are getting oil, crude oil. So Russia said that we are going to provide crude oil at a discounted price to India. And because of that, we are importing huge amount of oil from Russia. So whenever we are importing something we have to pay back so normally payback is done under using this dollar but what happened 
So due to this Russia Ukraine crisis Russia has been banned from swift payment mechanism so because of this we can't pay directly in dollars so here Russia said that you can pay in ruble okay, so that is called as rupee ruble payment system and because of this rupee ruble payment mechanism we are having some issues okay so that issues that are going to be resolved soon in this meet okay so in this context you have to see not only this rupee ruble payment mechanism is it is not a one single issue between india and russia but even there are some issues so you have to see them and we are going to see that and one more thing you have to focus here is map so map of russia is very important so which are the countries sharing boundary with russia because every year there is a trend of getting question so last year you got question regarding okay country sharing boundary with ukraine and before last year we have question like countries to sharing boundary with afghanistan so in this way here you can get a map based question in your means okay prelims okay so that is very important so what are the things that you have to focus yes you have to focus on some important things like the first one is india So first one is India Russia relations. So here what are the dimensions you have to think. So first one is areas of cooperation. Okay so first one is areas of cooperation and next one is which are the areas we have issues or challenges. So here you will be getting lot of dimensions here regarding issues and challenges. So one such thing which is given here is rupee ruble payment mechanism. And even we have issue that is Russia and China they are coming close together. So this is also an issue for India. And next one is you have to see map. And you have to even see about Russia-Ukraine crisis. And you have to see what are the imports. What are the imports that you are getting from Russia. Okay, so all these things are very important. Apart from this, you can also connect with this NAM. And you may get a question like what is the relevance of NAM in this 21st century. So all these ideas are very very important from this article. And this is important from international relations, especially from bilateral relations. So it is important from bilateral relations. Okay, so this is about this topic and these are the ideas that you can think about. And next topic is China offers consular aid to arrest to arrested vivo staff. So actually what is the issue here is what is the issue here is vivo staff has been arrested okay so the people who are working under this vivo company okay For example from india so there are many people went to china so here we have china and here we have india so as you all know that so from india people will be migrating to other country so here you have to focus on this topic called as migration so in this migration we have types inter migrations and intra migrations so intra means within country okay within country so inter means or international means so from india people are moving to other countries okay people they are moving to other countries okay so here when you are talking about migration so here you have to know about factors so what are the factors which are led to this migration that is called as pull factors and push factors and even you can also connect like which state is having lot of migrated people and one more thing here is you can see like why people are moving from north india towards south india 
so what are the reasons and even you can analyze what are the problems of migration so one such problem here now we find is one such problem now we can find here is so when our people they are migrating from one country to another country so if they are facing any legal issues yes here whatever the embassy whatever the embassy which is present in other country need to take about the care of that indian citizens which are present in other country so here if they are arrested means we need consular assent we need consular assent so now whoever the uh, staff which are arrested in china so they are getting this consular assent now so that our embassy will be having chance to talk with this prisoners so this is about this topic and all these are the dimensions that you have to remember and even you can see like which country is having the lot of indian citizens who are migrants okay so these are the some important dimensions that you need to remember and even you can connect this topic with international relations and one more important thing i forgot to say here is so which is the convention so which is the convention talks about consular aid or consular access that is vienna convention that is vienna convention so you have to know about the facts regarding this vienna convention also so all these things are very important i hope it is very much clear yes or not if yes please say thank you yeah now let us move forward and there is one more important topic here that is government targets documents saturation in pvtg villages in one way so actually this topic is talking about pn janman scheme okay it is talking about pm janman scheme so here what are the dimensions that you have to think about pm it is talking about pn janman scheme right you have to see when this scheme had been launched it comes under which ministry which ministry is implementing this so and so scheme so what are the provisions of this scheme and you have to see what are the challenges and one more thing which is given here is pvtgs particularly vulnerable tribal groups so you have to know some facts regarding this pvtgs like who are called as pvtgs because already we have the scheduled tribes so in that scheduled tribes itself there is a classification of this pvtgs that is particularly vulnerable tribal groups and already in 2020 so there was question okay 2019 okay 2019 so there was question regarding this pvtgs in your prelims and you have to see how many pvtgs are present in india so what is the number so number is like 75 okay in which areas they are dominant okay that is very important and what are the characteristics okay so all these are the dimensions that you have to think about so this topic is important from your mains and as well as prelims clear so this is about our front page and now let us move on so there is nothing much important in our city page and states page today so i don't want to waste your time because prelims is very much near so you have to focus more on your prelims preparation and even nowadays csat is becoming tough so focus on csat so from at least january onwards spend one to one and a half hour daily for csat so please let me know how many of you are having fear of csat yeah now in this page you can see one article that is special force for security crowd management at jagannath temple in puri so this jagannath temple is very important so why because i will tell you the dimensions so that you can add these things okay so here we are talking about one temple that is puri jagannath temple so here 
in your art and culture from your history you will be seeing this topic called as architecture so in this architecture we will be focusing on architecture of mughal times ancient times modern times like so here we are also talking about temple architecture so in this temple architecture we will be having three types of architecture first one is nagara nagara style of temple architecture next one is dravida type of temple architecture and third one is vesara type so vesara is a hybrid form that is combination of both nagara and dravida so if you see the map location of this i am drawing just a map so it is not apt i know that <laughs> so please accept it so till this in the northern part we have this nagara and here in the southern part we have dravida so in between these two here we have vesara so these three are types of the temple architecture that is present in india so this puri jagannath temple where it is located please let me uh, let me know the location so actually it comes under the example of nagara style of temple architecture so here what you have to focus like which are the important components of this nagara type of temple architecture for example diol shikara like that so what are the things and even you have to see what are the differences between these two that is nagara and dravida temple architecture for example in nagara we don't have the boundary wall and in the dravida we are having the well okay like that so what are the difference between this nagara and dravida and if you are focusing especially on this if you are focusing especially on this puri jagannath temple it is very much famous for rath yatra okay rath yatra it is very much famous for this rath yatra so regarding this rath yatra you have to know some facts and even you have to know about idols okay so these things are very important because that rath yatra will comes under fairs and festivals in our country okay that is also the part of this art and culture itself clear so these are the dimensions that you have to know and if you move on in this editorial page so we have some articles so this is article 370 issue closed but terror victims need closure so this article is very important so now let us see some dimensions regarding that article 370 so we have this article 370 right so first of all you have to know historical background so already we discussed about this topic many times but i will be giving you a brief background so actually i got a comment like so please use white page or the plain page to tell the dimensions so that from now onwards i am using this okay so what is your opinion please let me know in the comment box so whether it is okay then we will be continuing with this style of teaching or else i will be using just newspaper and i will be writing in the newspaper itself why because especially there are many beginners so if i am going on telling so you may not catch the points because i will be having a limited time of 40 to 50 minutes to complete this analysis not more than that so in that minimum time i have to cover maximum so that sometimes i will be going on very fast okay so if i am using this type of board if you can you can also make the note okay later on you can do some research so historical background here is you have to know about instrument of accession so instrument of accession is very important so it has been signed by raja hari singh raja hari singh with indian government government of india so with this instrument of accession so just jammu and kashmir it was once a princely state so it has been integrated into union of india so at that integration so because of this instrument of accession at that time raja hari singh he asked for some special category so because of this our constitution makers or our forefathers they inserted article 370 
एंड आर्टिकल थर्टी फाइव ए आर्टिकल थ्री सेवेंटी एंड आर्टिकल थर्टी फाइव ए सो दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट स्पेशल कैटेगरी स्टेटस सो दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट स्पेशल कैटेगरी स्टेटस फॉर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर सो वॉट हैपन इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ऑन आगस्ट फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स सो द प्रेजेंट गवर्नमेंट हैज रिवोक और एब्रोगेट एब्रोगेटेड दीज टू आर्टिकल्स एब्रोगेशन मीन्स रिमूवल ऑफ दीज टू आर्टिकल्स एंड नॉट ओनली दैट इवन गवर्नमेंट केम विद जम्मू एंड कश्मीर रीऑर्गनाइजेशन एक्ट एंड इट डिवाइड एट्स टूअल जम्मू एंड कश्मीर इन टू टू यूटीज सो वन इज जम्मू एंड कश्मीर यू टी एंड इट इज हैविंग असेंबली and next one is ladakh union territory of ladakh okay and finally at that time onwards so there are number of petitions there are number of petitions which are filed in supreme court and recently supreme court gave a judgment right like what is action taken by the government is valid it is correct because it is a temporary provision so this is the background here so here you have to know about under article 370 so what are the special features which is going to be provided to this jammu and kashmir that is very important and because of this abrogation of article 370 now there will be a tourism development economic development so development will happen in jammu and kashmir okay so this is about this topic is that clear or not and next topic it is about debt debate so this article which is talking about one report that is imf international monetary fund article 4 consultation with india report so this report is talking about government debt and this report is not accepting by our present government so that is the issue and we are going to discuss this in detail don't worry and next topic it is about global goal on adaptation and road from dubai so this article which is talking about cop 28 and already we had seen this topic number of times like what are the highlights of this cop 28 so in which areas we have to focus and one such in thing we have to focus here is global goal on adaptation to understand this global goal on adaptation you have to know about paris climate deal of 2050 so we are going to see this topic in detail and it is important from gs paper 3 under environment and ecology and this topic is important from both your mains and as well as prelims and we are going to see this topic in detail don't worry and there is nothing much important in this opinion page you can leave this and even this text and context there is article regarding american election so we are not going to bother so just we have to see which government that is going to be established in usa and how it is going to have impact on india us relations and if you have time you can see this article it is also very important that is about sanitation solution so here i want to show you some important dimensions so if we talking about sanitation means we have to maintain the things neat right so how many of you know exact meaning of sanitation please let me know in the comment box or else i will be discussing in the tomorrow's class so this is very important the so first one is you have to know meaning or definition of sanitation and you have to see what are the problems or challenges in maintaining of sanitation so one such important challenge here is no treatment for example you can take in the case of waste water so there is no treatment of waste water and even there is no proper solid waste management no there is no proper solid waste management and next one is there is increasing of dumping sites and in this dumping sites we are facing new problem that is fires in this dumping site because of methane production ch4 okay and you have to see like what are the ways 
so what are the ways that we can see for improving of this sanitation in india and even you can see some schemes which are came up by the government for example we can talk about swachh bharat abhiyan which is focusing on sanitation and even regarding drinking water and sanitation government came with another scheme that is jal jeevan mission okay so these all are the dimensions that you have to think from this topic clear so if you have time please go to that article once and this newspaper i didn't find anything much important yes here you can see one interesting topic that i like the most railway officers to be trained in disaster management academy institute to give training so actually what is happening in nowadays so what is happening in the railways so many a times accidents are happening so you have to see data of accidents in railways so whenever accidents are happening in railway so we can see large scale of people death and even there will be increased injuries to the people yes or no so here you have to collect the data that is authenticated data regarding this accidents and next you have to see what are the causes of accident and especially you can connect this topic with railways so in economy and as well as in geography we have this part of railways So you have to see what are the problems that we are facing in railways, and even you can see what are the advancements. So you can see like what are the advancements in railways. For example, we are talking about bullet train. So it is a collaboration with which country? Japan. And even recently we came up with this one day Bharat trains. okay and for these problems so how can we address those problems like what are the measures can be taken and even you can talk about the economy related topic here that is railway budget so railway budget has been included now okay we have only one budget earlier we used to have two budgets separately for railways and general budget but it has been merged and we are having a single budget now so regarding all these things that you can think okay so these are the some important things that you have to remember and there is one important keyword that i found is united nation hcr thanks india for taking care 142 rohingyas intercepted in andaman so here already i said in a serious class about this rohingyas so please do revise that and here you have to focus on united nations higher commission for refugees so what is it that's it because there's a high chance of getting question regarding this un hcr okay in business page you can see one interesting topic that is climate resilient wheat seeds planted in over 60 percentage of area so what is the issue that we faced this year is because of unseasonal rainfall the wheat production had been decreased because for wheat we need good sunshine but because of this fog and because of this rainfall that had been affected and finally the wheat produce, production had been decreased so because of this yes now we need to focus on technology and we came with a climate resilient wheat seeds and they had been planted over 60 percentage okay so this article is very important okay and next topic is risk of stagflation receding rbi official says that so always very important topic here is inflation so i will give you giving you some ideas okay like what are the important from inflation point of view so this inflation is important chapter in your economy right which comes in a gs paper 3 inflation is very important topic and you have to know what is the condition of inflation that means generally there will be increasing of prices of goods and services in the market and you have to see different types of inflation so we have three types cost push demand pull 
and built in and you have to see like what are the factors that led to inflation and what are the measures so here in the measures again two things are involved that is fiscal policy next one is monetary policy so monetary policy by rbi fiscal policy by government so all these things are the important dimensions that you have to remember okay so now let us move on to notes page so first let us try to see the important things so first when it is about russia india relations so now we are going to see like what are the issues that we are facing between india and russia and if you want to download the notes you can download the notes from telegram channel the link is given in description box okay so the first important issue here is weakening of india russia economic ties so actually there is lack of investment in private sector and even there are some issues regarding absence of logistics and there is poor connectivity between india and russia and more recently there is stalling of international north south economic corridor so because of all these things now we can see there is deterioration of relations between russia and india and next one is the issues related to defense so there is a gradual decline in the orders of india from russia because we are going for diversification of imports from israel we are getting so from usa we are getting from france we are getting so that we are not only solely depend upon this russia for our defense imports so it is one issue and even we are getting the other good competitive technologies from other countries as well and india also had some concerns in the past regarding supply and servicing of different supplies okay and even there is some issue regarding delivery of aircraft carrier that is gorshko as well as its cost escalations so actually ins vikramaditya's uh, project had been delayed and even the increase in the cost so these are some important issues regarding the defense with india and russia and next one is foreign policy so russian officials they have repeatedly criticized india of this indo pacific region and even in the court because us involvement is there in this indo pacific region and even the quad it is a grouping of four countries like india japan australia and usa so because of this russia which is always showing some concern regarding this grouping and russia believes that india is currently an object of western countries so actually russia don't wants the countries to join nato because it is the organization which is led by this western countries but india is moving towards this western countries so it is one cause of concern for russia so these are the some important issues between india and russia and next topic is about pvtgs and as well as pm janma so i already said you the dimensions right so what are the thing that we have to discuss in the notes so that only we are going to focus and we are not going to repeat the points okay so for that only please don't skip the video so if you are watching so watch till the end so that there will be no repetition of points because i don't want to waste your time so i don't want to discuss again the same context etc so what is the thing that is there we are going to discuss that so actually our government is gaming or it is focusing on the campaigning of pm janman package so this package it is for especially pvtgs and for this center has set a target of one week to achieve aadhar cards caste certificates and gender accounts for this pvtgs so now here ministry of tribal affairs came up with a com- campaign that has happening around 18 states and even union territory of andaman and nicobar islands okay and especially they are thinking that there will be around 22000 such habitations are there and around 28 lakh people they will be living okay so we have to identify who are eligible under this pm jamman's package so if we talk about how what are the characteristics of this pvtgs so they belongs to pre agricultural level especially they will be depending upon even hunting and gathering society so they belongs to this hunting and gathering society and they will be have very low levels of literacy or zero literacy in some cases 
and they are economically backward and even their population will be declining day by day or they will be having a stagnant population growth. So these are the four minimum characteristics of a PVTGs. And what is this PM Janman scheme? So this scheme which has been launched on Janjatiya Gaurav Divas that is birth anniversary of Birsa Munda in Jharkhand region. And the objective it is to provide some essential or basic amenities like roads, telecom connectivity, electricity, secure housing, clean drinking water, sanitation, improved access to education, health, nutrition and sustainable livelihood opportunities for this PVTGs. So it is very important. And next one is they are also focusing on awareness generation. So government will showcase and they will spread awareness of various government schemes which are made for tribals. And next one is they are also focusing on coordinating role. So this scheme will be implemented by nine ministries. That means the Ministry of Health is involved, Ministry of Education is involved, Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation is involved, women involved. So like that this scheme will be implemented together by nine ministries. Even with this tribal affairs ministry will be playing a very important role. Okay, so this scheme it is an example of teamwork. <laughs> yes or no? Yeah, next one is beneficiaries. So government has identified about 75 tribal communities. They are PVTGs. Okay, so with a, with a population of lakhs who reside in more than 22,000 villages in our country. And even they are going to set up this Ayush wellness centers. So it is developed by Ministry of Ayush and they will be extending the facilities to this particularly vulnerable tribal group, group uh, populations or habitations. And this one is they will be also focusing on skill enhancement. Okay, so Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, they will be facilitating skills development and even vocational training for this PVTG's habitations. And especially that skills will be very much helpful for multi-purpose centers and hotels so that will be helpful for improving of suitable skills in the communities so what are the challenges are there the first one is data inaccuracy so there is no uh, particular data there is lack of current data regarding this pvtgs because there will be uh, like social stigma in those people they will be not coming outside and they will be mingling with other societies especially i can say like some uh, societies or some PVTGs which are present in this Nicobar region, for example, Centeline, Centeline is, so if anyone wants to meet them, so they will kill them. Okay, so they will go that much far extent that they don't want to even meet other people. And next one is there is lack of transparency. So the current project is going ahead with the baseline surveys, but the results are not made public. And even there is lack of accountability. So this scheme which involves multiple ministry that may lead to issue of overlapping or conflicting mandate and even sometimes that will not lead to the effective service delivery. And there is also impact on the loss of ecological diversity because if you are going for a building of roads, transport etc. that will be affecting the environment of that region because these PVTGs they will be uh, present in the inner forest region. And this one is loss of cultural heritage. So this scheme provides education, health, skill development that may result in the loss of their intellectual and cultural heritage. So because of this, that will reduce their resilience and as well as adaptability. And even there is issue of lack of autonomy. So mobile connectivity, Anganwadi centers, Bandhan Vikas Kendras, they may bring this PVTGs under the purview of states and market forces. So because of this sometimes that will lead to the violation of their sovereignty and as well as violation of their fundamental rights. So these are the some challenges regarding implementation of this scheme. And now let us see about this consular aid. So actually China which has said that they are going to provide this consular protection and assistance to the employees of this smartphone maker Vivo. And these uh, Vivo uh, staff they were arrested okay, in India and expressed its firm back into Chinese business. In, pro in protecting their lawful rights and interest. So it is talking about Vienna Convention especially. And you have to know what is the meaning of this consular access. So consular access means nothing but simply a diplomat or an official, they will have a meeting with the prisoner who is in the custody of another country. 
So if any one person who is in the custody of another country, so they will be getting access like a diplomat can go and talk with them. So usually during the meeting here, the diplomat will first confirm the identity of the person. So they will confirm the identity of person and they will ask whether they are getting uh, some basic questions or not. So what are the questions they need? So they will be asking the questions and they will be treated in the custody and what or she wants. And next one is Vienna Convention of 1961, which is an international treaty. So which is defining the framework for diplomatic relations between the independent countries. And under this Vienna Convention, we have this Article 36. So this Article 36, which states that foreign nationals who are arrested, they should have the right to inform about their arrest and its consulate. So because of this, we have this Vienna Convention of 1961. Clear? So if you have any doubts, so please let me know in the comment box. Okay. So next topic it is about IMF sovereign debt risk assessment. So this report which is not accepted by India. So now let us see why. So finance ministry issued a statement. That statement title here is factual position. We saw this IMF article 14 consultation with, consultation with India. So actually IMF that is International Monetary Fund under its article of agreement it is coming up with bilateral discussions with the members. So with the members here every year so this IMF will be coming up with the consultation and it will be discussing the issues. So IMF collects economic and financial information and IMF will also discuss the policies with the top officials of the country before preparing the report. So before preparing the report itself IMF will be coming or else the people who are under this IMF they will be coming and they will be discussing about the policies, they will be discussing about economic condition and even information of the so and so country. And the four days after IMF released its latest Indian con India consultation details, which said that certain presumptions have been made taking into account possible scenarios that does not reflect the factual position. So what are the report which is given by IMF? India says that so it is not exactly correct. So it is exactly not matching with the factual position in the in the present context. So ministry was referring to an IMF view that so there are adverse shock that could lift India's general government debt to beyond 100 percentage of GDP. So in that report it said that here there is beyond 100 percentage of government debt. So why this type of reports are important? So why we are not accepting with the facts of this report? So based on this report, if you are talking about IMF, so it is a Britain who twins. It is one of the Britain who twins, yes or no? So whenever this report is given, so many countries they will be relying on these reports. So if we want to attract investment to India, so they will be seeing about credibility of India. So based on that countries, they will be thinking that whether to invest in India or not. So investments are very important for the development of our country. So whenever we are getting investments, we can go for uh, industry setup or factory setup, etc. And that will create a lot of employment. Yes or no? So here, because of this report, which is saying that government debt is more than 100%. So it is going to affect investments. Okay, it is going to affect investments. And from this COVID-19 onwards, so every country are facing this investment problem. So with this type of reports that will further leads to the impact on this investments. So here this report which also said that combined debt of central and state government which is around 81 percentage of GDP in 2020 to 2023 and 2020 to 2021 it is 88 percentage. So IMF records this could go down to 70 percentage by 2017. 2027 to 2028 and the shocks are faced so far they were global issues because of COVID-19 because of uh, global things which are going on like at present Israel Hama issue and at present uh, Russia Ukraine issue etc and not only India but even entire world which had been affected by this global issues which are going on like for example because of this COVID-19 pandemic so from arguing that India's physical space at risk, they now believe that sovereign stress risk are moderate. And there is no small part due to ability of center whose debt levels are about 57% of GDP last year. 
so actually you are having increasing of debt day by day so this is the issue which mainly set and next topic it is about global goal on adaptation and road from dubai so here we have to focus on this what is this global goal on adaptation and what is this paris climate deal so what is the relationship between these two okay so that is the agenda so we are talking about this global goal on adaptation so it is a draft text okay it was introduced and was established under paris agreement so actually we are focusing on paris agreement here that is to decrease global temperature by 1.5 degrees to 2 degrees centigrade when we are comparing with it of pre industrial level and we are also focusing on enhancing of adaptation to climate change and we have to increase awareness and funding towards the countries okay so this is the thing which mainly said and this draft text which addresses critical issues like there is climate induced water scarcity reduction and there is also climate resilient food and agriculture production and we are also focusing on strengthening of resilience against climate related health impacts also and actually in this paris climate deal of 2015 okay so this article 7 which talks about enhancing so we have to enhance the adaptability capacity and we have to strengthen the resilience and we have to reduce the vulnerability to the climate change so these are the some important goal uh, important components of the goal okay and next one is so this global goal adaptation so countries they have to develop national adaptation plans and they have to identify which are the activities that can be taken to decrease this climate change so i will give you an example so if you are focusing on uh, the need of healthy coastal areas okay healthy coastal wetlands okay if you want to protect this uh, coastal wetlands from coastal erosion and for that we can provide a buffer against the sea level rise and storm surge and even river systems and forest ecosystems they can store water and they can reduce the erosions and especially we have to focus on nature based solutions so if you are focusing on this nature based solutions rather than the intervention of man so we can reduce the intensity of climate hazards by 26 percentage okay so for this we need to focus on the finance climate finance or the loss and damage fund so this is about this topic and next i want to introduce about this course that is mains answer writing course that we are going to launch already we launched yesterday itself and because of christmas so here within this 10 days so for the next 10 days you can join this course and here in this course we are going to cover answer writing practice and uh, we are going to impart answer writing skills in you and how to improve your presentation how to write the content how to structure of your answer and everything will be covered here and we are covering entire your gs which includes gs1 gs2 gs3 gs4 and not only we are focusing on question and answers but even essay and case study will also be covered here and what are the questions that we are giving here so we are giving you the modal answers and detailed evaluation of your answers will be done and on every sunday you will be having this live interactive classes and that class we are going to discuss live essay writing and many of you might be having the fear of writing an essay right and if you join this course so i can say you like 99.99% i can give you assurance that you are going to lose your fear and many students they got benefited from this course and why not you so come and join this course so if you can't pay this amount in one go you can pay in two installments and if you want to contact me regarding this course you can call me or you can text me on this number 8074765513 so even this is a whatsapp number you can contact me on whatsapp or even in the telegram so that's all for today and if you want to download this notes go to telegram channel and you can download there so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this lecture so if you really like this class so please hit the like button and if you have any suggestions we are always open for your suggestions and please do subscribe to rathor's is academy thank you so much for watching